hope of finding out that what life would have been like if you'd never been born. The people would have been better off without you. Isn't there anything I did that I can be proud of? Or at least not ashamed of? Didn't I make some contribution to the world? I mean, all you've done is show me that everyone would have been better off without me. Give me your hand. Why here? You'll see. The place looks empty. You believe. What's going on? What's the matter? Why is she crying? Why does everybody look so unhappy? No, I would never have let it get that far. I would have held my end of the bargain. I would have handed the tape over to her. Since you were never born, you wouldn't have been able to find the video. What happened? Didn't somebody else find it? No, there was no tape. Because you were the one the police intended to keep under surveillance, remember? So you're saying Kelly didn't want to spend the rest of her life hiding in Europe, so she decided to come home and take her chances. She was arrested, tried, and found guilty of murder. But then she'd still be alive if I were around. Something I did, did accomplish some good. Yes. Even if I didn't have the best motives to begin with. Now, there's more. You don't know who I am. So just trust me. I love you. I care about you. Oh, right. That's a good one. She was totally alone when her parents died. She was swindled out of her father's money. And then she fell into a bad crowd that was into drugs. Rainbow trout. Let's make fun of her. She's much prettier than either one of you are. Not only that, she's a much better person than you'll ever be. Why don't you dump those two snobby prepettes? Besides, Haley's the only girl for you. The only girl for you, Ted. Excuse me, uh, lady. Uh, we're running a little late for our Christmas party, aren't we, girls? And I think you've had a little too much to drink for this Christmas. Uh, we'll be on. Haley, who the heck is Haley? If it hadn't been for you pushing Haley into the Capwell house as a maid, she wouldn't even have met him. Then I didn't do so badly by her after all. Well, their marriage may not have been perfect, but it surely beat the streets. What about Brandon? This way. What are we doing here? I want to see Brandon. Want to buy a really neat watch, lady? Ow! Hey! Can't have been the way it turned out, Brandon. No, it has to be a bad dream. It, it just has to be. I don't remember you. I've never even seen you before. Sweetheart, I know you can't remember me, but I really am your mommy. Gina, it's no use. You're nuts. My old lady's in a bar waiting for me. If I don't get these watches moving fast, she's gonna knock my head off. And plus, I don't get nothing to eat. Oh, yes, you do. And whoever that woman is, she's not your mother. I am. And she's not gonna lay a hand on you. Why did 
this happen to you? You weren't there to adopt him. I'm so sorry that I said I wished I never lived. Because I did make a difference in some people's lives. I made them better. I made Brandon better. Yes, yes, you did. Not just because he had a lot of toys or lived in a big fancy house, but because he was cherished. Yes, he was. I may not have always been the most wonderful mother to him or to Lily. Or the best aunt to Haley. But I loved them. In my own way. You know that, don't you? Yes, I do. I want the chance to be a better person. To make up for all the awful things that I did. You said it's never too late to change. Well, I want a second chance. Even, even if it's only to prove it to myself. Please, Becky. Okay. You're going to have your chance. And maybe this time, I'll really get my wings. Am I really back? How are you feeling? Are you all right? Cruz, I eat. You recognize me. This is wonderful. What happened? Well, we found you passed out then at the end of the pier. Yeah, I was struck by lightning. Well, but I never felt better in my life. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. By the way, congratulations. I'm going to say it's about time. What is? Well, you tied the knot. Which knot is that? You two got married. Mary. Oh, wait. That's what I wasn't around. I, I'm... It's never too late. Tina, are you sure you don't want to see a doctor? Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm fine. I, I was mixed up, but I got it all straightened out. Now, I better get going. Hey. What's going on around here? Oh, we're uh, preparing a Christmas dinner for the city's homeless people. That's beautiful. Just beautiful. No one should be hungry or homeless on Christmas. I've got to go see my son. I've got to see Brandon right away. Greetings, I come bearing foliage. Ah, it looks as if somebody's beat me to it. Hello, Mason. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, yes. For me? How are you feeling? I'm in perfect health. Huh? Right? It was just a minor operation, really. Oh, good. Oh, there she is. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> Mm. I just had to come and see if everything was all right. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Have a supper. <laughs> you look a little pale. I just don't have my blusher on. Hello. Happy holidays, Minx. I'm going to see if I can get somebody to spring you from here. That'd be wonderful. Thank you. doing here? Uh, uh, the same thing you are, Mother. He and Julia are, uh, friends. Since when? Well, oh, it's been coming on for a long time now. I don't trust him. Uh, now, now, Mother, just, just remember the season. Goodwill. Uh... Lionel, when I dislike anybody, it's year round. Well, even so, uh, Mason is the one who... Uh, uh, help uh, do, do the room like this so nicely. Is he? Did he? Yes. If I ask you a straightforward question, will you give me a straightforward answer? I'll try. Is Mason Capwell the man that you are planning to be the father of your child? What would you say if I told you that he is? Well, I'd say you're making a grave mistake. Am I right? You're right that it's Mason. But, Minx, you're wrong that it's a mistake. He has been so attentive and, and understanding. He, he's, he's gone through this business and helped it be much easier and, and, and more human than I ever expected it to be. Believe me, he has been perfect. You are talking as if you're considering him as a, a, a husband. No. No. I'm, it's just an arrangement. That's all. Now, I grew up 
thinking only a man could carve a turkey. So did I. I'm ruining this. <laughs> See what happens when you give us the vote, we get the carving knives. <laughs> Personally, I'm glad to shoot. I've got to use this. Did you cut yourself? It's just my finger. Uh, how bad did you cut it? No, it's not bad. I just, I don't want to believe it. Well, hey, look, I got some candy. Listen, I don't... Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. What's this? Uh, it was, um... It was something I was gonna, I was gonna give you, but I got too dizzy with all the plans. Hey, look at you. You don't need to give me something. I mean, doing this is a great gift, you know? Uh, look, let me... Let me do this and actually I, I didn't forget to give it to you. I didn't give it to you because I thought that uh, you would get the wrong idea and it would make things worse. Well, then maybe I should just pretend like I, you know, didn't see it or something. Oh no, I, I want you to have it. No strings attached, honest. Well this I guess if you already got it. <laughs> Turn it, turn it over. Christmas 1986, love always, Eden. I don't know what to say, you know. You shouldn't have. <laughs> well, I, I know I shouldn't have, and... And I wasn't even really going to give it to you, but... You know, with us working side by side like this, I've gotten a really good feeling. And I hope you have, too, and... I'd really like it if you keep it. And we don't need to talk about it anymore. Are you folks start serving yet? Oh, yeah, we're just, just about ready. Well, where is it? <laughs> Here, uh, what are your names anyway? Lillian. Lillian? My name is John. Here, step right up. I want you to be eating. Hi. Hi, how are you? Pleasure. Nice you. Pleasure. These are all for everybody else. Oh. Oh, well, you may have finally exhausted the supply, Brandon. You never know. Why don't you just keep looking for a few keep more looking. minutes? Keep looking. Look at this. I think we found one. Oh, oh that is the Brandon. <laughs> Brandon. 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 Oh, Sight that fills me with ill-tied spirit. Mom, where were you? I wanted to give you my presents this morning. I know. And I've got lots of surprises for you. Sorry I wasn't here when you got up, but I couldn't help it. Won't happen again, I promise. Oh, it's so good to hug you and have your arms and back. Um, can I give you my present now? Uh, sure. I'll tell you what. I, you know that big chest in the living room? Yeah. It's all full of presents for you. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to put them under the tree, but why don't you go in and take a look at them now? I'll be in in a few minutes and you can give me my gift. Meanwhile, I want to talk to your dad and Sophia. Bye. Whatever you have to say, Gina, make it fast, huh? very simple. I want us all to be friends. Oh, I'm touched. You might as well want us to be canaries or potted plants. Both is improbable. It's Christmas. Can't we just forgive and forget? Wipe the slate clean? I know that deep down inside we're all good people. And we all love Brandon. Why can't we use that as a basis to get along? Interesting notion coming from you. Unified by love. You think I'm saying this for some ulterior reason? Well, I'm not. I mean every word. I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. You willing to turn over the tape? I thought so. Deep in your heart. You don't know what it is to turn over a new leaf. You just don't know. You're still angry with me. I can understand that. What are you angry for? More money? I just want a chance to explain things. You are holding our daughter hostage and you want us to forgive you? I think you're crazy. No, I'm not crazy. You know how I think about us sometimes? As two superpowers. We have different aims and different ambitions. But we have to forgive and forget in order to survive. Fine. Then you bring our daughter back, end this sham of a marriage, and get out of our house. I can't do that. Let My me life get away from her. Wait a minute. At least admit I've made your lives more exciting. Even the best marriage gets you. boring sometimes. I've kept you two apart. Whetted your appetite for each other. I'm not going to be responsible for my actions. Come on. Hi, I was just about to make some rolls we'll for We'll see you there. Oh. Hey, wait. Well, I am busy, Gina. What do you want? I know I've been a little rough on you lately. Lately? I 
just want you to know that I realize what a good person you are. And I've tried to change you from the very beginning, and that was wrong. I'm sorry for that. Haley. I'm listening. I'm lucky to have you in my life. And you're lucky to have me in yours, too. It's the truth. And I'm going to prove it to you. I mean, you don't know what would have happened if you're... When your father died, if I hadn't been around, you're just going to have to believe me. We need each other. And I'm going to show you that if it takes me the rest of my life. No, yeah, well, it may take you the rest of your life. I know you love me. In your own way, I know that. But your idea of love is so different from what my idea of it is. I mean, you use the people you care about just to get what you want out of life. No. No, I don't. I care about you. I've been good for you. You know I have. Haley, I love you. Well, congratulations. You've been sprung. My hero. Thank you. I'll be dressed in a jiffy. Yeah. You know, getting dressed behind those screens reminds me of 2,000 movies where the heroine used to slip behind here and come out looking smashing. I'll try. The ones I've seen, she slips behind a screen and slips out of something smashing. Speaking of heroines, have I, uh, have I told you that I have great admiration for what you're doing? I think it takes a lot of courage. Well, I wouldn't really think of it that way. The only courageous thing is facing the fact that if I don't have a child by myself, I'm not going to have one. I don't know. You know those stories you hear about women who can't become pregnant and... So they finally adopt and immediately they become pregnant? Yeah, they're more relaxed and they're not so uptight. What about them? Well, I think it just might be that uh, once you get a baby under your belt, so to speak, you might relax and find yourself with a husband. It's an interesting theory. So, how do I look? Beautiful. Oh, I don't get carried away. A little, a little weak need, though. Oh, I'm weak, neat, and beautiful. Actually, I wouldn't mind having someone to lean on to walk out of here. Lean on me any time you want. Just this time. From now on, I'm on my own. Like, baby? Oh, I'm sure too. What's your name? Sydney. Hi, Sydney. Well, how much you like? Yeah. This is Merry Christmas. 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 Well, I heard about this, but I just had to see it for myself with my own eyes. Mother, what a surprise. It certainly is. What did you, did you come to pitch in me? No, Mother can't, you know. Now, that's exactly why I came here. Yeah. Oh, all right. Listen, I'm doing double duty on the cranberry sauce and mashed potatoes, so why don't you take the cranberry sauce? Thank you very much. I'll take the mashed potatoes, because I'm going to eat the No, you know me in Scotland. You're the greatest, you know that, Mother? Don't talk in superlatives, Lionel. I thought I broke you of that habit when you were ten years old. Oh, well, I still slip once in a while. <laughs> 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 Hi. Oh, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes right here. Oh, not on the napkin, no. Here you go. Here, my mother will get Merry the Merry Christmas! And a Merry Christmas to all of you, too. Thank you. Here's some sweet potatoes. Thank you. Don't take a roll. Yeah, take a roll. Yeah. Oh, uh, listen, you can all go right outside there, uh, just just beyond there. There are tables and chairs set up. All right? Here, the really good with you. Thank you. Our pleasure. Hi. Hey. Mama. Hi. Daddy, you came. Of Hi. course. We said we'd come. I guess it's time to put down my apron, isn't it? Oh, no, I, I like it if you'd stay. I, I like it if we could all stay. If it's possible. 
Yeah, come, come on. This is a worthy cause. Dad? What, it's Christmas! Dad's right, isn't he, Mother? Well, I suppose I can put up with anything for a few hours. Daddy? Merry Christmas, E.C. I guess I can handle it for one day. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Minx. Uh, Mr. Oh. C, uh, if you wouldn't mind, there's another turkey needs carving up. All right. And, uh, yes. you have to start pouring the cider? Cider. I'm yes. pouring the cider. Good. Good. Hi, coming back for seconds, huh? Yeah. Oh, must be good. That's a beauty. Enjoy the That's so cute. I think I just finally realized what Christmas is all about. It's about reaching out to people who need to be cared for, and it's about what's happening between Daddy and Minx and Lionel. And, and to think, I, I just wanted to let it all sort of slip by me. I would have missed out on a really big miracle. You know, the really sad thing is that the day after Christmas, people just forget. And they forget the responsibility to care for people who need to be cared for. <laughs> I mean, it's such a great country you live in. I mean, people like this, they shouldn't be hungry and not have a place to live. I wish we could take the love and the gratitude that we feel today and make it last a whole year. Or forever. <laughs> Yeah, well, maybe it really is a day for miracles. I have a confession to make. I know that we said no presents, but I got you one anyway. You decided to keep it for yourself? No. I was embarrassed. You didn't think it was good enough for me? I didn't want you to misinterpret it. It speaks a foreign language. Never mind, Mason. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm touched that you got me something. I really am. As long as neither one of us forgets that our relationship is... Strictly business. Oh, yeah. I know. I'm thinking of having formal business cards printed up for us. But, you know, most businesses close for the holidays. You think we could act as though we were on vacation, too? Are you unhappy with the arrangement, Mary? No. But we are... Emotionally involved. Julia, like it or not. How could we not be? We're human beings. Involved how? What do you mean? Well, I think we've become the best of friends. At least that's the way I think of you. I hope the feeling's mutual. Merry Christmas, Mason. Thank you. Oh, well, that's convenient. Well, they're beautiful. Ye, Dad? <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> That's good. Your sense of humor is one of my favorite things about you. Thanks. No, thank you for the, uh, for the cufflinks. I'll make sure I'm very discreet and wear them only when there's no mirrors around. Not even time to duck under the table. I'm sorry to disturb you. I have to talk to Mason privately. I'll uh, be right back. Don't go away. What is it, Gina? If it's the last thing I do, I want to pay you back for everything I did to you and Mary. Is that a threat? No. No, I want to make it up to you. I know it was my fault that the two of you broke up. I mean, I set it up so she'd walk in on us. That you've always partially blamed me for her death. And you were right. Why are you dragging this up now? Because I want to make it right. I've had a revelation. Well, too much eggnog. No, no, it's not that. Look, I had a chance to see what life was like for people without me around. And I've done some awful things to people. I want 
never make it up to them. They say that it's never too late to change. I want everybody to like me again. Merry Christmas. Again? Bye, I think it's Johnny. Good. Well, you know, we serve hundreds of meals. I'm telling And Dad, this is weird. My dad and Lionel Lockridge are working together in the same room. <laughs> I'm not Oh, listen. Um, my mom was telling me that Gina was kind of acting weird today. Yeah. Yeah. I talked to her. Uh, she's trying to convince me that I should feel lucky she's my aunt. I don't know. Who are you? What's going on? Come on. What are you waiting for? <clears throat> I just made another New Year's resolution for us. Oh, pretty nervy of you. Don't wait to hear it. I resolve that we spend a lot more time concentrating on each other. And a lot less time on, on our families. What do you think? Not bad. Haley, I, I really want to get to know you better. What if you don't like me after you do? I think I will. And I also want you get to know me better, okay? Because I think if we work at it, we can, we can really learn to love each other. Now, I don't mean just a crush, like, you know, like what we had when we first met each other. I mean real love. Well, the kind of love that lasts a lifetime. After all we've been through together, do you think it's possible? Right now, under this mistletoe, I think anything is possible. Yeah, it seems like it has. <laughs> well, you're all still here. Good. Hi, Mom. Hi, darling. I came to help if there's anything I can do. Well, um, actually, you could grab that broom if you wouldn't mind and uh, sweep the floor a little bit. It's getting kind of messy in here. Okay. It's very fitting. Every witch should have a broom. It isn't enough that I said I'm sorry and that I want to change, is it? The only thing you'll accept is me sacrificing the only valuable thing I have. I suppose the tape is the most valuable thing you have since you gave up whatever soul you had left to keep it. Oh, can I help you? Thanks. I heard what you said before, and you're right. About what? Well, the only way you can get people to really believe you mean business about changing is to stop doing what's hurting them. And what you might get back in return is your own happiness and peace of mind. Hey, what? Last call! Maybe an angel's getting its wings. What? In that movie it said every time a bell rings it means an angel's getting its wings. I think that's it. What's the in the kitchen and out in the tent? Oh, it's spotless. Those volunteers did a great job. Well, then I guess that is it. I can't believe I was dreading Christmas, and now all of a sudden it's over. Probably been the best night I ever had. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe that's the secret, you know, if you keep yourself uh, busy enough, you don't think about yourself. What's the matter? Oh, I... Uh, I think it's my stomach acting up. I ever got to put anything in it all day. Sammy, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know what? I have a drumstick stash. I'm gonna make this a couple of sandwiches. What do you say? Oh, that sounds wonderful. All right. What time is it? Well, it's... <laughs> it's time to eat and drink. You know, it's too bad we don't have a little champagne around here. 
You know, I, I could go down to the store at the end of the work and see if it's open. That'd be great. Would you mind? I'll stay. Okay, great. Is this dangerous ground we're treading on? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm too hungry to worry about that right now. Well, then I got you right where I want you. You know something, this has been the most truly memorable day. Oh, well, whatever the future holds, it's certainly been wonderful so far. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait. Yeah, that that sounds like like a prelude to a letdown. No. Yeah. No? No. Oh, good. That was a prelude. Because we're just going to get closer and closer and closer. <laughs> Lionel, closer and closer. Lionel, you are just finding out who I am. I don't want you jumping into anything for your sure sweet. Hey, and you know something? I can take care of myself. Take care of myself and you, too. At the same time. Well, I really have to go now. Looks like you have to go to Gus's house. Yeah. I'm okay. sorry. It's okay. Know. It's okay. So maybe I'll see you later, okay? Of course you will. and call him at home, isn't it? Well, it, it won't be. A... Stop. Just, well, just a minute. Well, well, it won't be a surprise, honey. He got so persistent, I had to tell him. Uh, did you get the presents we sent? Yes, I did. I loved every one of them. Listen, how has your day been? Uh, very different. I, <laughs> I think we started a new, new family tradition, Kelly. We worked all day. <laughs> hey, look, uh, some big brother wants to tell you something. Hold on. Thanks. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, I tell you, you know... I keep thinking, remember the first Christmas you were so excited and you opened up one of my presents so I pulled your hair? Very well, I tell you, Kelly, if you were back here right now, I would, I would let you have every single last one of my presents. Right. Now, what would I do with a shaving kit and a pair of size 12 slippers? <laughs> Listen, Teddy, I'd give anything to be close enough for you to pull my hair right now. So would I. In fact, so would all of us. Listen, how's Haley? You know, I never got to congratulate her on your marriage. Uh, look, I'll let you talk to her. Here she is. Uh, Merry Christmas, Kelly. Hi. Oh, it's good to hear your voice. Listen, welcome to the family. <laughs> Thank you. And I have a wedding present here for you, but I think I'll wait and give it to you until I get home. Oh, yeah, I hope it's soon. But I'm looking at your beautiful mom here, and she really wants to talk to you, so I'm going to let you go. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hi, my sweetheart. Hi. Mom, I've been worried about you. you. You have? Oh, you don't have to worry about me. I have all the silly things to worry about. I can't help it. Listen, I love you. And I know how hard it is for you there with Gina. And I'm sorry for everything that I've caused. Listen, baby. 
the most important thing is that we're surviving this as a family. And I'm going to tell you something else. You know what I think? I think when we're all through this, we're all going to be a lot closer. Now, you just remember one thing, that we think about you every day, that we miss you so very much. And that, and that we're doing everything we can to bring you home. Gina, would you like to speak to Kelly? Kelly? I'm so sorry. bench many a time. We kind of looked after each other, you know what I mean? And, uh, she had a lot of hats. Crazy about hats. She used to wear three or four of them at a time. One of them was real special. It had a little feather. And, uh, one day I talked myself into taking that hat. One day she was sleeping on the bench. I put it on felt terrific. But uh, she came after me. She wanted it back and I fought her off. I wouldn't give it to her. So after that, we weren't friends anymore. But I still had my hat and I wore it all the time. And then I began to, began to miss her. I began to wonder what was so special about that hat that I was willing to give up my best friend for it. See, honey, there ain't a person ain't nothing in this whole world without friends. I, I know you're right, but... Power failure, I, I turned them off. Why? Well, I didn't think we needed as much light with the candles. Eden, okay, Eden, let's talk. You and me are a couple of co-workers here. We had a successful day. We're having some sandwiches and some bubbly. We don't need to be romancing the pants off each other, okay? I think you're reading an awful lot into a couple of candles. <laughs> Look, we're just going to finish up here, do our sandwiches, and uh, no big deal, okay? Chris, don't ruin really this day by your own stubbornness. Eden, I I'm nice. I'm being nice. It's Christmas. So what happens tomorrow? Eden. What? <laughs> You're really cute, but you ask too many questions. Sneaking up on us again. I wasn't sneaking up on you. I came back to talk to you, both of you. Not now, Gina. Please just go upstairs and leave us alone. Please don't be mean to me, Cece. My whole life's been turned upside down today. You come here for solace? How oh, dare you? Thought I could take you and turn you upside down and shake the life out of you. You heard my daughter on the phone today cut her off from her home, from everybody she loves? Because of your insatiable greed? I've changed. No, you haven't changed. You only found out that Brandon is the only one who has a shred of affection left for you. And you realize that when he grows up, he's going to dump you too, because he'll know better. You come sucking up to us. Well, I'm not impressed. In fact, I find it kind of sick. Like I find all hypocrisy sick. So get the hell out of here. Well, 
Thank you, Cece, for stopping me from making the biggest mistake of my life. I am never going to hand this tape over to you until I get exactly what I want. Never. The man.